Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about leasing property. Most property investors don't even consider leases whatsoever. Well, that's something for the commercial guys or that's what happens when you do a lease option. No, leasing a property can be a really good alternative to a single heir's lease, to an assured short hold tenancy agreement. And here's how. If you are letting a property, so you've got a property and you want to let it out to groups of people, sometimes a lease can be a far better way of doing that. And let me give you one example. We use leases when running our Stepping Stones property. So we will be partnering with a charity. The charity will be supplying their clients into the property. Now, one way that we can do that is on a management agreement. So they bring their clients in, we support their clients to access local housing allowance, LHA or housing benefit, and we then get paid that LHA payment direct to us. That's a management agreement. But actually, in that instance, we have single AST with every tenant. It's a lot of work for us to help those clients to access LHA. They're paying us bills directly. We're responsible for maintenance. And so that model is more time consuming for us and less profitable for us. And it's more aggravation for the charity and their tenants. Leasing, on the other hand, which is our preference when running the Stepping Stones project, is better for everyone. So the charity makes one single payment every month for all of the rooms. So they just pay 100% occupancy for however many bedrooms there are in the property at LHA level, so at 100% of LHA. So we just get one payment rather than six payments for the rent and six payments for the bills, as an example. Now, the great thing about that is the charity then can help their clients, they know their clients better, to support them to access LHA, to get those payments in. They can then collect the rent, the rent and the bill payments from their clients. So it's nice and simple in a HMO environment. The big bonus for a charity though, and if you're sat there as a charity thinking, this could be great for the people we work with, the charity can claim enhanced LHA. So they can actually claim 50%, sometimes more, on top of the rental payments for the support that they're providing. So now all of a sudden, because we're doing this on a leased basis, the charity can fund the support for their clients in the house. So it's a, it's a revenue generating project for the charity now. It doesn't drain their resources. The other thing is the charity is then responsible for the maintenance, the internal maintenance. We typically will look after a boiler and we'll look after the fabric of the building, the exterior, the roof, uh, etc. But they'll look after the internals, so the, the, the walls, the doors, any internal damage, carpets, etc. They take responsibility for that. And of course, a lease is a lot longer than an AST. So an AST is typically limited to 12 months, six or 12 months is the norm. A lease can be three years or five years and that, that's our typical period. So there's a lot more um, solidity, there's a lot more of a foundation, there's a lot more for the tenants in the house to rely on, for the charity to rely on. We know therefore that it's a, a longer term agreement. Much, much better solution in that instance. So my message to you guys is if you have a property that you're going to um, monetize in some way, for sure think about ASTs, think about assured short hold tenancy agreements, but also consider whether perhaps a lease would work better for you. A longer term lease with, an, with, a, with a single entity and allow them to sublet the, uh, the property. You do also need to check your mortgage conditions if you have a mortgage on the property because sometimes they will prohibit leases. But if you own the property cash, if you um, have got private finance on the property, then that will be no problem at all. Or even if your mortgage terms and conditions specifically mention leases, you're welcome to contact your mortgage lender and ask for permission to grant a lease and that they may give you permission, but always check your T's and C's. If you've enjoyed this episode and you would like to know more, whack the uh, subscribe button, click the notification bell, and I will see you again soon. In the meantime, happy investing.